Hey, it's Giuseppe, the app nerd behind all the tool tester videos. Today I want to check out Screen Studio with you. It's a stylish editing tool to capture screencasts. For instance, it automatically adds zooms to my screencast or lets me change how the mouse looks or even add some effects to it. It's wicked because it allows me to create a stylish screencast in minutes without me having to do zero editing. Another good thing is that Screen Studio is fairly affordable. You can opt in for a recurring monthly or annual plan or you can pay once and use it forever. Let's now open Screen Studio. You'll see a bar like this one. This bar will allow you to control your screen recording. You can decide on recording the full screen, a window, a certain area of your screen, or even otherwise, and that will be your iPhone connected with the cable. You can decide if you want to use a camera or not, if you want to have the microphone recording your sound, and there are some other options like a recording countdown. Let me show you now how I record with Screen Studio and I will be giving you a sneak peek into our next newsletter. If you want to register for it, you'll find the link in the description of the video. Let's open up. And I want to do, let's say, a window recording. Um, I love that I can resize the window just with a couple of clicks. This is really handy. Let's commence the recording and let's click around a little bit and show you our next issue for the newsletter. And as you've guessed, we are gonna talk about Screen Studio in our next issue. Let's do, I don't know, let's make these bolts and go back to the top and go to another section. The good thing about Screen Studio is that it allows me to pause the recording. Uh, this is great for, I don't know, gathering your notes or rearranging the screen if you need to. Then you can keep on recording and when you're done, you press on the stop button. This little preview shows and we get into the editor by pressing here. It's a really nice looking editor. I love how it looks and how simple it is. For me, the main selling point of Screen Studio is that it has done already some automatic zooming and that really saves me maybe hours of editing each year. But there's a lot more. For example, I can change the background. I think I like this one. I could also change how big the cursor of the mouse is, even the style. Oh, I quite like this one. And I can decide even to hide the cursor. I can even get the keyboard strokes recorded and shown in the screen automatically and a bunch of other features like, I don't know, automatic captions, automatic transcriptions, changing the shape of the camera. There's really a lot more to Screen Studio, but for now I'm done. So I just hit exports. You can see there are a few formats I can choose from. Also handy, I can pick the frame rate and also the resolution that I want also the quality with the compression that Screen Studio applies to the video and whether I even want to share a link instead of creating a file. To be fair, there are a lot of use cases where Screen Studio is really convenient. I'm thinking someone in IT sharing videos on how to do things, someone demoing an app or even someone, I don't know, sharing knowledge with the team internally. I hope you find Screen Studio useful and if you wanted to use an account, there's a link in the description. Have a good day and see you around.